Hey guys, today we're going to be checking out Zodiac from 2007. Let's get to it. All right, we're watching Zodiac. This was the winner of my David Fincher poll. The girl with the dragon tattoo came in second place, so I'm gonna watch that too. Okay, this is based on actual case files. All I know is this is about a serial killer, so that makes me nervous. But I really love Fight Club, which I loved, The Game, which I loved, and I've done Seven, which was also about a serial killer, and I loved it, even though it was scary. Hi, 1969. California. I really love David Fincher, so if anyone can make me love a movie about serial killers, I think it's David Fincher. Where have you been? I've been waiting since seven. Get in uh, to find fireworks. I'm just like nervous. Are these kids gonna die or what? I'm gonna assume that everyone that I meet in this movie is gonna be murdered. I hope it's not too gruesome. It's too crowded. Uh, let's go someplace quiet. She wants to make out, or she is the serial killer. All right, I'm not gonna suspect that everyone's the killer. Maybe, maybe I am. What do we get? Sitting, listening to music. <laughs> oh God, I'm on edge already. Okay, I mean, there's going to be murder in this. I need to get ready. Is this is based on real case files, it said. Oh boy, oh boy. I do my best not to learn too much about true serial killings because I'm so freaked out. I saw that car yesterday. My friend was like, don't you know about the Zodiac Killer? I was like, no, I definitely don't. Was that your husband? No. She's married. Uh-oh. It is her husband. <laughs> Shit. Darlene, you're two-timing. Now, D. Go, go, go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just gonna, like, stab them in the face or something. Can we see who it is? No. no. Does he have, like, a knife? Oh, God. Man, you really creeped us out. <laughs> Jeez, Jesus, Jesus. They're dead, right? Is the kid still moving in there? Oh, he went back to kill them. He went back to kill them to make sure they were dead. Oh my god. He's alive? I want to report a double murder. I also killed those kids last year. <gasps> Goodbye. <laughs> he called the cops. The murderer called the cops. Come on, buddy. Oh, Jake Jonah. He swallowed it. Not Why? I like Jake Gyllenhaal. We're late. Does that say Mark Ruffalo and Robert Downey Jr.? Your... I don't know who's in this because the poster just has like a bunch of symbols on it. Awesome. Well, that's a good cast. Woohoo. Learn a lot. Learn it all, buddy. He's cute. God, I hope he doesn't get murdered. Jake Gyllenhaal. So handsome. Definite crush. What other Jake Gyllenhaal movies should I see? Oof. There's music. Why would the murderer call the police on himself? Well, no, not like on himself. He didn't say who he was, but. Ooh, these drums. And I like this organ. Oh, I could go for a donut. That's for sure. Oh, there he is, RDJ. Based on the book. Okay, okay. How's the book? Has anyone out there read the book? Let me know how the book is. I do love to read. I'm enjoying this music a lot. All right. You need to see this. Dear editor, this is the murderer of the two teenagers last Christmas at Lake Hermit. The boy was also shot in the knee. Did the boy from the car in the start live? Here is part of a cipher. <gasps> a cipher! I want you to print this cipher on the front page of your paper. Shut up. Did this, this happen? If you do not print this cipher by the afternoon of Friday, <sighs> I will cruise around all weekend killing lone people in the night. Oh, it's no wonder this case is so symbol. famous. Symbol? Oh boy, this is good. Does that look like a gun sign? Sure does. All of this is a clue. If we run it, we might be setting a very dangerous precedent. Oh, come on now. Yeah. It's newsworthy. Did they print it? I think they probably will. Let's shoot the code and call SFPD. Ray Smith, don't you have a cartoon to finish? Oh, yeah. All right, so he's just the cartoonist, but maybe he'll crack it. This is Paul Avery from the San Francisco well, I'm a good Chronicle. I'm looking for someone to shed some light on a letter we received. He looks dashing, too. VPD, they confirmed the shootings. Al's on the phone of the examiner. They got the same letter with a different coast. Oh. We'll go on page, page four. That's not what he said, though. 20 bucks, whoever cracks the psycho's name. He won't give his name. I think the cartoon guy's gonna crack it. Oh, I love a good cipher so much. If you missed my prestige video, I hid a cipher in the video. See if you can crack it. Turn it on light. Grab your book. 
code breakers. They said that all the ciphers at each newspaper was different. We got symbols from at least seven different sources. Greek, mm. Morse code, maybe semaphore, weather symbols, astrological signs. The CIA then on I mean, I guess they would be, yeah. Hey, take a gander at this code thing. Okay. Maybe some like random person solves it. Probably Greek. Robert Graceman, mm -hmm. I've, I've been here nine months. <laughs> they probably met before. Who cracked it? A history teacher and his wife, Salinas. I like killing people. The best part of it is that when I die, I will be reborn in paradise. Yikes. All that I have killed will become my slave. Oh my god. He thinks our friends are dead, but in the head. What is that at the bottom? The leftovers. Of maybe an anagram? Mm hmm. Maybe it's his next kill. How does one do that? I like puzzles, I do them a lot. I also like puzzles. Another letter, more of the same details about the murders. And he gave himself a name. This is the Zodiac speaking. Ooh, I got chills, yikes. I can't believe this really happened. One and a half months later, are we about to see another murder? Yeah, we are gonna see another murder. It's always like, what, young couples? Somebody else is here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. It is a public park. I think he's watching us. Well, we're very good looking. <sighs> Where'd he go? Oh god, he's gonna pop out and kill them. Oh god. This sucks. He's got the Zodiac. Oh my god, he has a gun. I want your money and your car keys. Okay. Hey. He's gonna just shoot them in the face. Sorry, I don't know exactly where I put my keys. They might be on the blanket. Is it okay? Oh god, oh god, oh god. This is so tense. What the f Here's the keys. This guy's like remarkably calm. Don't get up. I want her to tie you up. Oh god. I'm taking your car and going to Mexico. Get on your stomach so I can tie your feet. It gets really cold out here at night. We could freeze. Judy, he's gonna shoot you in the head. It's okay. <laughs> this is all gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's stabbing them! Oh my god, no, I I, I can't, I, I don't do stabbings. Oh, no. Oh my god. Just two different murder weapons. That's kind of unusual for a serial killer, isn't it? I don't know. Does he want to be found? Or is he just messing with did they, did they live? Did the guy live? Boy lived, the girl didn't. Boy Again. lived. Boy Can't lived. Imagine surviving something like that. Kid at the lake, this is what he said the Zodiac would win. Oh, that's a hell of a get up. Oh. Heck of a get up. What's the story? Look at his score. He seems a little like so a college girl. So far. Boy Scout, he does a smoke, he does a drink. And he loves puzzles. Oh, I knew that I heard that from somewhere. It's the most dangerous game. It's, it's, it's a movie about a count who hunts people for sport. Ah. Uh, That's uh, Count Zaroff. With a Z? Like Zodiac? I think the bigger problem is that the paper shouldn't have printed anything that the Zodiac has been doing. Yeah. yeah. He would have done it anyway, whether they printed it or not. That's probably true. I mean, he did kill again. Oh, jeez! Is there any, like, rhyme or reason to his killings? Seem pretty random. And then he called the police about it? There's a fight in a cab! What is your location? Oh, creepy music. Ooh. Cabby's been shot three blocks from the Presidio. Mm hmm Well, it wasn't me. I've been with my bride all night. She can vouch. My gravelo! Also handsome. All right, we got three handsome dudes on the case. Suspects Negro male adult waltz on scene, walked off the cab and secured the crowd. That looks like Goose from Top Gun. If you missed my Top Gun, both reactions, check it out. But is that Goose? Lovely night for a bot's robbery. Yeah, third this week. Must be end of summer rush. They don't know it's the Zodiac yet. Or is it? I assume. Any witnesses? Kids who called it in, Sally Suspect, from that window. You saw him. You first saw him in the front seat, thought he was a drunk fighting with the driver. Described him as a white male, glasses, crew cut, stocky. Wait, I thought someone said he was black. Yeah, they did say that. And they went out to radio cars. Yeah, we already corrected it. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, so they don't know what's going on. Prince? Could very well be with dust at the hall. The odd thing is, we also got gloves. Left his gloves. Black gloves. Murderers, man. Alright, so he likes to shoot people. Single nine millimeter casing. Like stab people. I'm a shooter. Can I give him this address? Who's got the fire book? Yeah, true. Where were they going? Was this where he was supposed to stop? Good call. Washington and Maple. It's one block east. Hmm. It's a clue, it's a clue. 
What's there? What's there? Is it gonna have a zodiac sign painted on it? Lighting's the same over here, so uh, maybe I see someone walking the dog. So why do you get in the front seat for the money? You can just reach over the seat, pull out his wallet. Yeah, you don't have to go anywhere near the blood. Left a clue. I bet he left a clue. He left a clue in the front seat for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, sir, I was wondering if I'd be able to talk to your children. He just saw a man murdered. Yeah, and he needs to know what they saw. It looked like they were drunk and fighting. Yeah, and he had a rag. Did you get a chance to see his face? Yeah. I did. Do you, do you remember what he looked like? Normal. Yeah, just like a regular dude. I always prefer when my colors look super crazy. Oh god, here we go. Another cipher. Oh no. What is it? Oh my god. This is the Zodiac speaking. I am the murderer of the taxi driver. To prove this here, it's a blood-stained piece of his shirt. That's why you got in the front seat. SF police could have caught me last night if they had searched the park properly. Paul, where's his shirt? Interesting. It's like he wants to be caught. He's like taunting them. So you got in the front seat to tear off a piece of the shirt? It gets worse. And he's getting the newspapers involved. He wants, like, the notoriety. Last part. Cool children make nice targets. <gasps> Jeez. Hey, just one thing. Is it true they got a print off the cap? Yeah, they got a partial in blood. On purpose, probably. Did he say they got a print? Partial. Partial. Do you think that Zodiac's gonna send another code? Because I think Zodiac's gonna send another code. So do I. Cooperation with SFPD, we will run the Zodiac letter without including the threat on school children. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Although, if I was a parent, I'd want to know that and I'd start driving my kid. I hope he doesn't do that. But I don't know anything about this killer. I don't... Seems like he does what he says he's gonna do. Pack your carrots and, and your celery. He's putting his guy on the, on the bus? Are you joking? Dude, no. Drive your kid. I mean, I guess you can't be terrorized. You, you gotta live your life. You know what? I'm gonna drive today. Okay? Yep. And that's what I would do. Ten hours later. I like this piano. It's creepy though. He does spell things wrong, and I wonder What's if that? it's a clue. Similarities in the lowercase r's. Motorcycles. He spelled fry, F-R-O-Y. There's similarities in the lowercase r's. We have to release the bus threat. I agree. We just went from routine cabbie shooting to mass murder targets kids. I think I agree. The Zodiac Killer has come to San Francisco. Confirmation tonight from the San... I mean, this is what he wants, though, right? Ugh. The Zodiac has threatened to, quote, wipe out a school bus and pick off the kitty as they come bouncing out. Yeah, don't let the kids hear that. Oh, this piano. Ooh. Possibly a latent homosexual. Where, where did he get that? Saying that just to be provocative? Press conference set four. Gotta give him something. Got any hard suspects? About no. 90 an hour. Come up to around 500. One of those is probably Zodiac Killer. How many men can you give me? Well, right now it's you and Bill, and Monday's a school day. Yeah, I know, Chief. I have three daughters of my own. This guy really knows how to, like, mess with everyone. The only guy who's seen Zodiac without a mask is missing. As soon as he got out, he split. Really? Why? I don't yeah, think why? he wanted to have anything to do with this. He's worried he might be targeted again. We need that print. You lift it from the cab, and you should have been in on the handwriting. Yeah, work together. All we have are the Wing Walker prints. To and from the crime scene oh. were made by size 10 and a half Wing Walkers. You can't buy at a PX without a military ID, so our suspect could be military. Yeah. You guys should all work together. Hello. Jeez. Why don't you just get a photo off the original plastic hat? We'd have to wait because they don't have a fax. They don't have a fax machine. This is still a problem though with investigations, isn't it? When they're in different places, they don't always work together. Dispatch said it was a Negro male. Yeah, they that, got that the wrong correct. info. No, but at the time they hadn't changed it. Who told them that it was a black dude? Stalky. Shuffling. Had a crew cut. <gasps> That's him. He would have been covered in blood. Did you stop him? No. You need to get with the sketch artist. We have to put out a new composite right away. They walked right by him. The new letters from the Zodiac killer were sent to the city room of the San Francisco Chronicle. Looming. And <laughs> no looming. No looming. You considered the water theory. Geographically, every attack takes place near a, a body of water Let's or water. water. Maybe it's a code. I'm reading this book on um, homicide investigations. So I'm looking for patterns. You can't think of this case in normal police terms. You got four crime scenes. Not a single usable print of the first three or in any of the letters. How does our master criminal come? to the city and leave a bloody lady. I mean, assuming the gloves are his, he shoots the cabbie and then takes them off? Yeah, it's on purpose. So caught up with the women, he forgets to finish off the men. Paul Stein is not. Exactly. A single male cab driver on Washington and Cherry doesn't fit. No, it doesn't. Why does Zodiac kill him? He's breaking the pattern. But why? 
This is really good. I like this. Someone claiming to be Zodiac called Oakland PD a half hour ago. He wants Melvin Bell Eye on to counsel him. This is like within days of each other, all this stuff's happening. Pacific Telephone says you need to keep him on the line for 15 minutes. So we can do that, can't we, Jim? Is he really gonna call in? I mean, I believe he will. He wants the notoriety. I wonder if this would happen now. If they would do exactly what he wants and give him all the attention. Probably for ratings. I'm just all be on YouTube now, TikTok, whatever. Oh God. Get the tape. I'm tense. I don't, I don't know what is going to happen here. This is the Zodiac speaking. I wouldn't let my kid watch this. Something I can call you that's a little less ominous? Sam. Like son of Sam? Is there somewhere we can meet Sam and talk about this? Meet me on top of the Fairmont Hotel without anyone else or I'll jump. This is a trap. I don't like it. Do you have health problems? I'm sick. I have headaches. I think I can help you, Sam. <laughs> I don't know they're tracing his calls. Yeah. What's the deal? Can can you actually trace calls? It doesn't take a certain amount of time, I don't think. Either you can or you can't. I don't want to go to the gas chamber. I have headaches. I kill. I don't get them. You won't get hurt if you talk to me. You're not going to the gas chamber. I feel like they should have had a list of things to say to him and not just let them wing it. To the district attorney. <laughs> what the hell was that? Well, what was that, Sam? That was my headache. Oh, God. I'm gonna kill them. Oh, I'm gonna oh, kill them. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's enough. Let's meet and talk, just us. This guy's not a friggin' negotiator. In front of the Daily City St. Vincent de Paul at 10.30. I mean, I don't think he's gonna be there. My, my, my. You fellas certainly know how to put on a secret meeting. I mean, the Zodiac's not gonna go there. No, it's not him. Yes. Well, this is your it's the voice. The voice is too high. It's too young. They don't think it's him. What, copycat? Police shall never catch me because I have been too clever for them. I wear transparent fingertips. Oh, wow. If you cops think I'm going to take on a bus the way I stated I was, you deserve to have holes in your heads. So he's not going to. One bag of ammonium nitrate fertilizer. A bomb? It's a bomb. Okay, we gotta call the army and see another cipher. We should have a drink. Why does he want to have a drink with them all of a sudden? Look at his drink, I love it. That looks delicious. So tell me about yourself. Divorced, two kids. What do you do for fun? Puzzles. I didn't know he was gonna send another code. I just guessed. It's not him, is it? This can no longer be ignored. What's the what drink? What is that you're drinking? <laughs> it's an aqua velva. Delicious. Who would make fun of it if you tried it? Delicious. But you actually cracked the code. <laughs> just getting crunk on cocktails. He's no expert. A is one, B is two. Wait, but how do you go from A is one and B is two to figuring out this whole cup? The same way I did, you go to the library. Or you go to cipher.com. In this book, eight of the 26 symbols that he suggests are found in this cipher. But there are non-letter symbols, because there's all these medieval ones. I thought they look medieval too. But what are they really? It's a zodiac alphabet. Mm-hmm. I'll be up in a minute. I need to make a phone call. Some jazz going. Bill, there's not many basements in California. I'll have Vallejo and uh, Napa check with their city planners. Let's see. Hmm, I didn't know that. There's not that many basements. Why? Would they flood? One and a half months later. Hey, Melvin, this is the Zodiac speaking. And I'm afraid I will lose control again and take my ninth and possibly tenth victim. Does he really want to be helped? It is a cry for help intended as a private communicator. Is he gonna kill that guy? He tried to contact you here? Several times. I spoke with my housekeeper. I didn't leave a number. Do you mind if I speak to yeah, her? Yeah, Not at all. But the real story is the letter. This guy thinks he's an expert. I'm afraid he's gonna get murdered. Killing is his compulsion. It drives him. It's in his blood. Could be, or maybe he just likes the attention. I think he's right. Yeah, this all screams he wants attention. Two and a half months later. Oh, God. She's just gonna walk up and shoot her. I uh, didn't mean to scare you, but your right rear wheel is loose. Which, if you like, I could tighten the lugs up for you. I mean, he's gonna kill her? Like, what the... Is he tightening or loosening? Drive away, drive away, drive away, drive away. Does she have a baby? Oh, God. All done. Thank you. It's okay. Drive away now. Drive away. I'm afraid, I'm afraid she's gonna explode like a bomb or, or, or her car, wheel's gonna come off. Yeah, he messed with the wheel. <gasps> no. Oh no. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Are you okay? I can give you a lift to a service oh, station. Oh no, no, no. Oh, she has a baby. Oh my god. I didn't 
No, you had a baby. Oh, is that okay? The more the merrier. If they're gonna get murdered, I don't wanna see it. Oh, frig, I thought I was hoping they would just cut away. <gasps> he drove right by it. Oh, frig. I think we just passed a filling station. Oh, my God. Before I kill you, <gasps> I'm gonna throw your baby out the window. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please cut away. Please cut away. What happened to her? She said she jumped from a car. I found her like this. What about her baby? My baby! Where's her baby? She didn't have one when I stopped. <gasps> Do you take the baby? Do you throw it? Oh, my God. You hit it? In case it came back. <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They didn't die. Frig. This is the Zodiac speaking. I'd like to see some nice Zodiac buttons wandering around town. He's so weird. The map coupled with this code will tell you where the bomb is set. Are there really bombs? We're really not going to run any more of his letters. A new policy. Our brothers in blue want us to hold back. Wow. It won't be good. Four letters in three months. The first mention of Kathleen Johns. This is full of shit. Looking for the Modesto B from March. I'm going to stand her in an attempt not to vomit. <laughs> I love Robert Downey Jr. Okay, look at this letter again, the part about Kathleen Jones. Look at the article from the B. Everything in the letter already appeared in the article. And he's done it before. So Richard Raditich shot sitting in his car. Days after this article came out, the police already had somebody in custody. But took credit for it anyway, because he's in it for the press. Right. He even stole his symbol. If I show you something, I promise not to tell anyone. Who would I tell? Okay. <laughs> you have no friends. <laughs> That's the only place that word and that symbol ever appeared together before the letters. I've been somebody who's killed 13 people. He claims he's killed 13 people, but which ones can we actually confirm? He doesn't think. <laughs> what is it, him? Tell me it's not a piece of blood. You sure. You did call him a latent homosexual in at least one of your articles. Dave? Yeah. I want a gun. He's not going to go after these guys, right? Paul Avery's investigation has one of the accolade of a message from the Zodiac warning, you are doomed. Wow. Several cron newsmen are wearing lapel buttons reading, I am not Paul Avery. Including him. It's one guy down first side and I drive down to see him tonight. You want to tag along? Uh, no, I have a, a date. Ooh. Oh God, I hope they don't get shot. Hi. Hey, I'm looking for a Melanie. Thank you. Maybe she likes puzzles too. I'm working with, you know who Paul Avery is? And he's going down tonight to track an, an anonymous tipster down in Riverside. Sounds kind of dangerous. Yeah, it does sound dangerous. Could be an ambush. It could be the Zodiac. Oh. Right? That's what I was thinking. Do you have any change? Do you have to make a phone call? Yeah, you know, when you were saying that the, that the Zodiac... Is he going to go warn him? I should call his wife and just see if she's heard from him. Well, I have some change. Is he going to get murdered? Oh, frig. Just went down by himself to this random place, dude. Well, she said she'd call when she heard from him. Okay. What, call him there at the phone booth? She should go home and wait for the call. Oh, okay. This is some sleazy plan to get me to go home with you. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very intricate plan. Oh, I got the food to go. Hello? Oh, God! Dude, come on. There's no one around. Oh, my God. I'm supposed to meet them out there. No, meet them in a restaurant. Meet them at a bar. Meet them at the library. Anywhere but in a dark, dank space where no one else is. Anything? You don't have to stay. Is it morning? Do they stay up all night? Oh, God. This is the most interesting date I've ever had. <laughs> into it. Okay, please, please be him calling to say he's fine. You're not gonna believe this. Oh. Thank God he wasn't murdered. Paul Avery claims to have uncovered new information regarding Ooh. the only unsolved homicide in Riverside County's history that Avery now believes was the Zodiac's first victim. What? The handwriting matches Zodiac. Dun, dun, dun. Sherry Jo Bates, her body's found the next morning in a parking lot, stabbed to death. Stabbed. A typewritten confession was sent to the Riverside Press Enterprise. He wants to be published, he calls it a game. I mean, this could be our boy. Sounds like it. It's the girl's father and the paper. They all received these. Oh, letters? Yeah. This was found a couple of months later by a janitor in RCC storage. <gasps> Ooh. How did Paul Avery get his hands on the exemplars? I gave them to him. I also told him we don't think this is Zodiac. You don't think this is Zodiac? We got a guy we like for it. Well, maybe he's Zodiac. In my opinion, you guys came south for nothing. Boobar, gentlemen, boobar. Boobar. Well, there's your press agent. Talk to him about it. Yeah, geez, he seems to look at him so smug. We already screwed up the amount of tips we got on this thing, and, and you just freaked out the entire state. You wrote me. You threatened my life. You should have called me, Paul. I do think 
like a reporter would have different motives, but I do think he wants to solve it. He wants to stop him, especially because he's been personally threatened. Here comes every lunatic in California. I'm the Zodiac. This book gets crushed in an accident and the killings begin. You're a cop, man. Do the math. Do the math. Yeah, everybody's going to be convinced they know who it is. Have you considered the killer might be Paul Avery? Frequently. <laughs> right? He was drinking Coors, getting a load on. Starts talking about hunting people. It says how you can put a light at the end of a gun to use as a sight. Oh, now this one might be right. Then he said he'd write letters to the police and call himself Zodiac to mess with them. This one could be it. He was raw about losing his job at the school. Talked about shooting out the tires of a school bus and picking off the little darlings. This is the guy. This guy Lee just lays out his entire evil plan to a fishing buddy. Yeah, he does like the notoriety. He checked, he did. We're gonna do a full background check. But I gotta tell you, I like this guy. I like this guy too. Well, you never know though. I mean, that could literally be the Zodiac. That dude right there, they, they were just talking to. Alan had been fired for touching kids. Touching? Uh, polite euphemism. Are you done with the fries? Go ahead. <laughs> that guy's always hungry. Some of this stuff is pretty creepy. He, he misspells words like that. He thinks it's funny. Misspells words. Maybe he did it with his other hand. He's ambidextrous. He can write with either hand. Ah. Uh. In everyday life, Alan uses his left hand. He writes the Zodiac letters with his right hand. That is handy. One day later. Hey, talk to him in here. Th this is that they're gonna go see the guy, Alan? So how do you guys wanna do this? Well, Bill talked to the informant, two leads we follow. Is this the guy? Is this the guy? Kinda stocky. The informant notified us that you made certain statements 11 months mm -hmm. prior to the first Zodiac murder. I told all this to the other officer. What other officer? I told him that I'd gone to Salt Point that- Does he have the boots? Does he have the boots? The knives I had in my car with the blood on them, that blood came from a chicken that I killed for dinner. He's giving them everything. Were you ever in Southern California at any time in 1966? I think this is our guy. Is this about the- Does he have a Zodiac watch? F f f f I was there around that time. I used to go down there a lot. If those are the military boots, then this is our guy. The foreman says that you're ambidextrous? No, that's untrue. I'm left-handed. So you aren't angry about being fired from Valley Springs for touching your students? Is he gonna get angry? I'm not the Zodiac. And if I was, I certainly wouldn't tell you. That, that's a nice watch. May I see it? Give it to him. Does it have a Zodiac symbol on it? Oh my God. Where'd you get it? <gasps> it's a Christmas gift Shut from my mother up. two years ago. You don't remember anyone you might have had a conversation with? <laughs> He's like, that's too friggin' easy. Dangerous game. That's why you're here, isn't it? It was my favorite book in high school. Great book. Or at least that's what I told Phil. Before I killed him. I need to know if those boots are the military boots. Thanks for your time. I'm willing to help in any <laughs> way possible. Pun. I look forward to the day when police officers are no longer referred to as pigs. I think that's him. They think it's him. You think my brother's the Zodiac? Only he's always been troubled. Is it true about the children? Unfortunately. Here, where he spells Christmas with two S's. I think it's him. The brother said he would search Lee's apartment next time he went out of town. I get you around the warrant for the time being. Hmm. Clever. Yeah, what's Puzzles up to? Jeez. The letter to Melvin Belli was sent exactly one year after the Lake Herman Road murder. <laughs> This suspect is not your Zodiac. Come on. I mean, we know he's ambidextrous. Both hands would have commonality. Doesn't mean it can't be. I'm sorry. How reliable is handwriting analysis, really? We need Alan's right hand. We can't get it without a warrant. There are other guys we should be looking at. Only what? 2300? 2300. Oh, cool time lapse. So this must be quite a while later. Well, I don't know how long that would take, actually. You wanna grab a drink? It's 10 in the morning. Late breakfast. He's not okay. Are you okay? No. no. Thank you for asking. He needs some help. So you moved off my brother-in-law. We couldn't get a warrant. Going to school in Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa? Where is he living? In his trailer. It's been 11 months since you talked to this guy, and now you want to search his trailer. I like those two together. All yeah, I need to know is if the suspect is ambidextrous, could he possibly have written those letters with his other hand? Of course it's possible. Get the samples of his other hand. If he's the Zodiac, you'll get a match. Military boot prints. Yes. Alan was in the oh, Navy. Wears a size 10 and a half. Same size as the prints found at Berryessa. Yeah, come on. This is enough. Get a warrant. What about the bomb? Alan works as a chemist. If that's not enough. Alan wears a watch that bears both the word and crosshair symbol. This is more than enough, isn't it? At least to look further. That's pretty good, guys. I think so, too. Let's take it to a judge. That's enough for a warrant, I think. I mean, 
mean, maybe not to arrest, but it's enough for a warrant. Mr. Allen, this is the Santa Rosa Police Department. We have a warrant to search your residence. Probably just empty. Oh. What is that, a squirrel? Jeez. Neighbor said he tore out of here about a half hour ago. You think somebody tipped him? Sure sounds like somebody tipped him. Are you gonna find Check something crazy? Why are there so many squirrels in here? Jesus. Please don't what? be a body. Squirrels. And a pair of black gloves. Shouldn't they be wearing gloves? He's got the same size shoes and gloves as he. Dave, I got a gun. Two guns. Just touching everything. That's interesting. If he happens to have an M1 rifle here in the closet. Holy. Ballistics no match, prints no match, writing no match. Huh? On both hands, right? He's not your guy. Come on. Well, then those are some crazy coincidences. I can't tell if I wanted it to be Alan so bad because I actually thought it was him or I just wanted all this to be over. It's because you thought it was him and I did too. I did too. I did. I really did. City of San Francisco, I will enjoy killing one person every day. Can you pay me $100,000? Is this the movie they're watching and it's based on, on the Zodiac? I see. Is this the movie Dirty Harry? I've never seen it, clearly. Was it based on the Zodiac? Should I see Dirty Harry? Killer gets shot in the chest. Do I know you? I'm uh, Robert Graysmith. I work at the front of the Paul Avery. Harry Kelly did a whole job. Okay. No need for due process, right? Guess they solve it in the movie. You're gonna catch him. No, I have to make your movies about it. We today have concluded an agreement to end the war Ooh. and bring peace with honor in no Vietnam. Name. Charles Manson. How far ahead are we going here? Police. Have Four years. I'm not coming in tomorrow. I'm done. What is I quitting? put in for a transfer. Oh, why? Can't be on call anymore. I want to see these kids grow up. That would be a tough job. They're partners. He says goose. Oh, this piano. It's unsettling. Maybe all these years later, he's just gonna crack it. I'm not Paul Avery. <laughs> oh, they're still together, aren't they? Nobody has more Zodiac crap than you do. Is he just gonna just gonna crack it right here on his couch? Oh. How are you? Fantastic. Oh yeah. I mean, got a lot going on there. To your health, mostly mine. So he's kind of spiraled. Somebody should write a book about Zodiac. Nobody knows the case better than you, yeah. and you you have all the files. Lost it. Doesn't have them anymore. Do you know that more people die in the East Bay commute every three months than that idiot ever killed? I wonder if he kills again, though. It's four years ago. That you're wrong. It was important. Then what did you ever do about it? You hovered over my desk. You stole from wastebasket. I'm sorry I bothered you. Yeah, he's not gonna write the book. Is that the book that this movie is based on? Maybe he should write the book. He's not really a writer. He's a cartoonist, right? He's just hanging out at that corner. They're all like haunted by this crimes. They can't let it go. Well, except RDJ. So you're a friend of Paul Avery's? <laughs> He's love it, actually Diner. the reason I'm here. All day breakfast, that's my jam. Zodiac hasn't written in three years. You know how many murders we've had in San Francisco since then? So nobody cares. I care. I do believe he cares. Can I show you something? That burger looks good. I've been doing good. research on uh, the first cipher. Everything an amateur would need to create it to be found in these books. He's like amused by him. I remember you thought that uh, Zodiac was military and I got a list of every person who's ever checked out these books and maybe that lee guy's on there listen that means they were stolen so almost every book on cyphers was stolen interesting who are you again i just want to help let him help can't allow you to help i was just gonna say are they allowed I to can't let... discuss the case with you like civilians help and i certainly couldn't tell you to go see ken narlo in napa oh yeah 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 buddies work in the case dave toski sent you yes maybe he thought that i could do some good what are you some kind of boy scout eagle scout actually first class <laughs> he's so cute better start with vallejo jack Mullen. he's gonna solve it i'm a friend of dave toski's and he said that you might be able to help they're like are you okay he's yesterday's news right that's what they say I love this music with this. It's like, what a curious way that this is going. Bum, 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 bum. All right, puzzles, let's crack it. He likes to look for patterns. This music, it's like whimsical jazz. Oh, but we're getting a little darker over time. I can't believe they just, they just let him in here to look at this. I mean, they think he's harmless though, but. Oh, great case. Oh, thank you. Who's that? I mean, some cartoonist thinks he's gonna solve the Zodiac. They're just amused by him. Well, good for him. <laughs> they don't think anything's gonna come of that. 
doesn't have a piece of paper. He has to have a napkin. Bring a pad with you. I've got five minutes. I've got to get back to the hall. Yeah, tell him what you got. Darling Farron is being followed. She and her husband, they move into their new house, and, and one night they throw this painting party. And what's a painting party? A party where people come and help you paint. Sounds like a terrible party. Yeah, right? Painting is the worst. I do kind of want to paint in here. And if Zodiac knew Darlene, maybe Majot was Zodiac. Maybe. I believe it was shot on purpose. Either way, Zodiac had to have known Darlene. Right, he knew her. Maybe I can find Darlene's sister. Maybe she can tell me who this mystery man is. He's very cute. Oh, cute, cute. He did that in San Francisco once. What? I can't tell you that's privileged information. Give me a hint. Give me a hint. But maybe Melvin Belli could. I like him giving him hints. That's cute. You're here on I can go over some cookies. I'm writing a book about the Zodiac. I spoke to him. Talk to her. He said he had to kill because it was his birthday. So they know the date of his birthday. He said it was his birthday. Oh, well, you have to confirm that now, wouldn't you? How? It's like learning how to be a detective. Well, if my partner did talk to someone from Justice, then they would have had to put that in a report. That's standard procedure. No, Nikolai. He's really helping him. Okay, Stage. I'll play. So let's say it really was Zodiac. Why would he volunteer the day he was born? He wants to be found, I think, maybe. Look, off the record, Bill Armstrong checked this out. None of the suspects had the same birthday as this phantom caller. Stick to the evidence. But that got them nowhere. Maybe they need this puzzled guy to solve it a different way. Robert Graysmith has quietly been shopping his book about the Zodiac. I'm not so sure that's something we want people to know about. Yeah, she nervous that he's gonna come after her? He reads the Chronicle. But he's never gonna read Herb Cain. Unless that's him on the phone saying you're marked. I can tell you who the Zodiac is. There's a man you need to find. His name is Bob Vaughn. The Zodiac's name is Rick Marshall. Rick Marshall? He just gave him his name? Specifically with his K. In his first letters, he executed the K with two strokes. Later letters, he did them with three. How accurate is handwriting analysis? I, I need to know this. About a month ago, a man showed up on my doorstep, very distraught. And his name was Wallace Penny. He said he knew who the Zodiac was. Rick Marshall? Yeah. Who is Rick Marshall? Go, go, go! Tell, tell the cops! Hello? It's him. Hello, who is this? Oh, Frig. That's almost worse than if he had said anything. It's the wrong number. Oh, please, I hope they don't get killed. They should move. They should move! Witness protection! Mr. Penny, Rick Marshall is the Zodiac. I need a sample of his handwriting to confirm it. Can you help me or not? He's gonna crack it. Rick used to draw movie posters for the theater Vaughn worked at. I'll send one down. I don't need to see more samples. Yeah, but, but is it? Oh, no, it's as close as I've ever seen. In a way, though, it's the part that doesn't match that scares me the most. The one letter that absolutely, positively does not match is the letter K. Letter K for kill. New Zodiac letter and dimensions you. Oh, no. I wonder if it's real or if it's a copycat. Okay. Can I have it with you? They're waiting for him. Is it bad? Does it like directly threaten him? This is the Zodiac speaking. I'm back with you. Tell Herb Kane I am here. I have always been here. These guys are from Internal Affairs. They suspect him. Internal Affairs, meaning they're suspicious of him, yes? San Francisco Chronicle columnist Armistead Moffin says that he thinks not only is this new letter a forgery, but it was written by the David Toski. What? Moffin used David as a character in his column. But David did not write that letter. No, I'm sure that he didn't. No, he did not. I don't think. They kicked him out of homicide. Wow. Okay, can you just ask him if he ever investigated a man named Rick Marshall? Is that all you can think about? You stop calling my house. I just need your help to find Linda. We've been running handwriting sand. And they're getting close. Okay, the Rick Marshalls of this world will suck you dry. They're blind ass. He's over it. He's still out there, Dave. No, Robert, I am through with this. I am through with you. Oh, man. What about September 26, 1970? Okay, which one is that? Lake Tahoe nurse goes missing. Are these kids working on it? Oh, guys, don't tell feel like my about grandma special project, okay? Had those exact chairs. How come you and mom don't sleep in the same bed anymore? They're having problems. Every federal agency has taken a crack at the coding. How did you do it? I, I love puzzles. So I love puzzles. Oh, Friggy's on oxygen? Jeez. Fuck library. I, I, I believe that you did it. Oh, he's in rough shape. Hey, we found Linda. She's in jail. Isn't that great? You went on TV. You put yourself out there for him to see. <sighs> Hun, you're being paranoid. No, really. Why do you need to do this? Because nobody else will. That's not good enough. Are you done? Can I go? Yikes. It's going to break up their marriage. Mr. Vaughn, Mr. Graysmith, you needed to speak to me? Why don't we just go to my home? Is this the Zodiac right here? Is this dangerous? I wanted to ask you about a film that the Avenue made played while you were the organist there. Do you remember the Zodiac? This is about Rick Marshall, isn't it? You mean the symbol? He didn't, but now he does. First time I saw it in the papers. 
I thought about that. We got a tip mm -hmm. that Rick left a, a film canister here that he told you never to open. Is he in danger? This tip is how you got it in your head that Rick is the Zodiac. That in the poster. Don't tell him everything. Rick didn't draw any posters. I do the posters myself. It's my handwriting. Um. I just go and find out when we play that film. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. It's not a problem, just down in the basement. In the basement, in the basement. Not many people have basements in California. I do. Is it him? Don't follow him. Do not follow him. I, you? Cheapo knockoffs like you brought today. I end up tossing into the back alley. No, this is not good. Is he gonna get killed? You live alone? Uh, most dangerous game, and in May 69, that would be about nine weeks before the first Zodiac glare. Yeah. He's nervous, I'm nervous. Do you think he saw the film in our theater and was inspired? Who's walking around? Are you sure there's nobody else in the house? Would you like to go upstairs and check? <sighs> Thank you. Thanks for everything. This, this... <laughs> Run! Please run! It's locked, it's locked, it's locked, it's locked, it's locked! It's locked. <gasps> Thank you. Let him go! Or is he gonna kill him in his car? Night, Mr. Graysmith! Oh my god. I mean, he knows who he is, he knows his, where his house is, he knows his phone number. Uh oh, something wrong? Guys? Did his wife leave or are they murdered? Oh god. Did she leave? Took the kids to mom's don't call. Okay, well, at least they're not murdered. You've got five minutes. Linda, did you get my note? You got the look. What look? Like you've been messed in the head by it? Tell me about this painting party. This guy showed up in a suit and Darlene told me to stay away from him. She was scared of him. A couple weeks later, she was dead. Do you remember his name? Rick? No, I don't think so. It was Lee. Ah, oh, it was our guy. Linda said Lee. This is Lee. That's just one name and a file that contains hundreds. It's nothing. Yeah, but how common is the name Lee? Oh. Dude, is this his apartment? He's gotten obsessed. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't even want to hear it anymore. Did his door just open? Who's there? Please be his wife. You didn't return my calls. Oh, I've been kind of busy. Yeah, I can see that. So you're not even interested in rekindling? I called the crone. Well, I, I'm not a cartoonist anymore. Did they fire him? Did you quit? Because he's obsessed with this? The kids miss you. Can't even see me like this. Neither can I. So do whatever you have to. Finish this. What is it? What is it? Something that can help? Lee. That's right, he never met Lee. Oh my god, did he go to his house? Is he actually here? Uh -huh. Dave, you made a mistake! Get away from Linda. I'll meet you around front. I'll meet you around front. We're talking this out. Our birthday was the one time that he was weak. It's Arthur Lee Allen! Oh yeah, he saw the birthday, right? Is, is it the same birthday that's on the driver's license? I didn't notice. Arthur Lee Allen was born on December 18th. I knew it was him. He wanted it to be him. Get in there. What about the handwriting? Explain. Was he partnered with that projectionist guy? He wrote me, you know, 2,500 suspects. The only one who ever wrote me a letter was Lee Allen. What was the handwriting like? And he knew Darlene. It's in the Vallejo files. I knew that was the dude. All the evidence said no. Sherwood disqualified his handwriting. The same Sherwood that drinks like Paul Avery now. Yeah, what about someone else? And there was no way of getting Allen into court in the first place because there was no evidence. You have him seen with the ciphers, the military boot prints, the same size shoes and gloves. You interviewed him at the refinery on August 4th. So he's cleaning out his trailer. He's moving into a different county 48 hours after you interviewed him. Yeah, suspicious. But again, no evidence. Now, when do the letters begin? July 69. After the murder of Darlene Farron. And they continue until you go to see him at work. And what do we get? Three new letters from Zodiac in January, May, and July in 74. But then the letters stop. Did he go to jail or something? He's arrested. Right. Alan gets out, and then what? We get our first new Zodiac letter in four years. Yeah. Yeah. Darlene Farron worked at the Vallejo House of Pancakes on the corner of Tennessee and Cairo. Arthur Lee Allen lived in his mother's basement on Fresno Street. Door to door. That is less than 50 yards. I mean. Is that true? Come on. You had your guy, man. You had him. I'm not asking you as a cop, but I am a cop. I can't prove this. That's so frustrating if you know who it is. You can't do anything about it. Finish the book. Thank you. 
Thank you for breakfast. This is very film noir too, especially the music. That timeline, I mean, how do you argue with that? But what about the creepy dude he went to go see? This music, is something gonna happen? There he is. Can I help you? No. Seven and a half years later, Ontario. Hope there's no murders in Ontario. Seven and a half years later, Rig. Okay, wrote the book, wrote the book, national bestseller. This movie's based on it, I assume. Mr. Rajot. Uh. Thanks for coming to see me. It's been 22 years, so I don't know how I can help you. Ali, I'm gonna show you a group of photographs. Now the person that shot you may or may not be among these photographs. Take your time. He recognizes them. It's him. Why did it take seven and a half years to do this? Well, there you go. Now on a scale of one to 10, 10 being positive. <clears throat> At least an eight. Last time I saw this face was July 4th, 1969. Yeah, that's a while. I'm very sure that's the man who shot me. Following the identification, 30 scheduled meeting to discuss charging with murder. Alan suffered a fatal heart attack before this meeting could take place. Why did it take seven and a half years? 2002, a portion of DNA profile that did not match Alan was developed from the Zodiac envelope. Investigators refused to rule out Alan as a suspect on the basis of this test. They deactivated their investigation. Today, the case remains open, where Arthur Lee Allen is still the prime and only suspect. They never solved it? Inspector Tusher retired from San Francisco in 89 and he was cleared of all charges that he wrote the Zodiac letter. Polly Avery passed away in the 2000 pulmonary. His ashes were scattered by his family. Robert lives in San Francisco and enjoys healthy relationship with his children. He claims he has not received a single anonymous call since Alan's death. It was definitely Alan. Huh. I can't believe we went all the way through that and I don't know for sure they didn't catch him. I mean, we know, but... Okay guys, well that was Zodiac, and I like that one. It was very long, but it actually didn't feel that long while I was watching it, and it was just so interesting. I feel like we covered so much. It was so detailed, so like incredibly detailed. The acting was great, the music was great. I really like like some of the shots were really beautiful, the framing. Yeah, it was really, really interesting. I really liked it a lot, and it wasn't like too gruesome. I mean, the murders kind of happened in the beginning of the movie, and the rest of the movie was just like, a about the investigation. I really think this movie is about like obsession and the way that trying to do the right thing, trying to get to the truth really like drove everybody crazy who was working on it. Like it, it ruined marriages. It, Robert Downey Jr. downward spiraled into wherever he ended up. In the end, we didn't even get a satisfying conclusion. We didn't even get 100% sure this was him. I mean, I, I think it was him. I, it seems like it was him, but I mean there was never any justice in the real world I hate that there was no justice, but in the context of this movie It felt like a fitting ending actually because yeah I just think that this movie is about like obsessing about something to the point that it like ruins your life Even if it's the right thing to do. Yeah, I really really like this one MVP for me I'm gonna give it to Mark Ruffalo. I just really liked him. I liked his character I liked Mark Ruffalo's acting. I thought he did a really good job. I really wanted him to solve the case I am very curious about the actual people that these characters are based on. It seemed like they were suggesting that Mark Ruffalo's character was, I don't know, had like an ego or like wanted fame. So I wonder how much of that is true. I'm, I'm very interested to know about that. But yeah, I really like Mark Ruffalo in this. I'm gonna give him my MVP. Loki MVP, I'm gonna give to Jake Gyllenhaal. I really liked him as well. He was just like, he was like a nerd who was super charming and kind of naive. And in the end, you know, he's the one who, as much as it could be solved, solved it. It seemed to ruin his life in a lot of ways. I mean, he got a best-selling book out of it, but I wonder if the actual guy in the end was happy that he had gone down that rabbit hole or not. I liked his whole through line of this story from where he started to where he ended. So I'm gonna give my Loki MVP to Jake Gyllenhaal's character. And the worst award we're gonna give to the fact that this is a true story and that it is still an open case that was never actually solved. So that's the worst. I wonder if we'll ever have like a definitive 100% answer case closed this is the answer this case never really getting any justice at all is going to be the worst overall yeah this one it was really good it was depressing but it really made me think it was just really interesting just a really thoughtful detailed thorough look at like obsessing over a case and what it will do to you i really really like this one let me know if there are other david fincher movies i should check out other murdery serial killer investigation type movies movies I should check out and thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too and I will see you next time. Bye guys.